Hi guys, so today I'm going to be doing the what's in my travel makeup bag or what are my makeup essentials to travel with, what do I need. So yeah, let's get right to it. But it is from the brand uh, Caboodles, whatever that means. Um, so yeah, it's pretty large in comparison to my hand, as y'all can see, in comparison to the Carly Bible Deluxe palette. It's pretty big um so in here i did forget a lot of things so either my mom's friend had to bring them for me to mexico or like my aunt so to start off on the top i have this cabrillo's little brush thing that i carry my brushes in along with some eyebrow products mascaras things that are typically this shape or long so I'll take that out in a minute here I have a bunch of ColourPop eyeshadows that I brought and I actually I uh, initially only brought these three but then my aunt brought me these two but yeah and then this is a purple blue and then like an aqua color okay then I have my primer which I made my dad go buy because I forgot it. This primer, my mom's friend brought it for me. This I bought here. It is a concealer. It's a white concealer. This I bought here as well. I bought this here. It's a lip liner because I didn't have a sharpener. And I bought this sharpener. This is my Sapphire Beauty Blender. It's a new release. This is my Lancome Matte Shaker. I also like to keep things in their boxes, as y'all can see. I don't know what's wrong with me. I also, this thing is also in its box. I don't know what's wrong with me. This is my MAC Studio Fix Powder. I basically use it for its mirror. This is an H&M blush. Let's see if I can open it with my thumb. This is an H&M blush. It's like an orange. This is my NYC Sunny Bronzer, which I'm not going to open because I broke it. Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. I like to use that all over the face when I don't. So when I didn't have this, that's what I used all over my face. This is my Fit Me Powder. Tarte Blush. Infallible Amber Rush. Essence and Rosy Happiness. It's an eyeshadow stick very nice quality here we have the NYX I use this on my nose because my foundation doesn't stick on my nose this is my eyelash adhesive I only brought just in case I bought eyelashes here eyelash Revlon eyelash curler this is to wash brushes this is a little Laura Geller um, diamond dust highlighter in like a travel size it was a free gift when you made it Ulta purchase. This is my Ben Nye Translucent Powder in Fair. It has a pink undertone, which I don't like. This is my Tarte um, Lip Scrub. It has a mint taste. It's very nice. This is my Essence Lipstick. Urban Decay Setting Spray. ColourPop Trap. NYX Corrector. Nick a K in New York or something and I have this in Starlit Glitter. This is heroin, I think. That's heroin, right? Yeah. And this is a purple color. Here is another product I bought here in Almond. And I use this to bronze because I can't do it with powder because I have patches on my face. This is Aquaphor Lip Repair. This is ColourPop in Trust Me. It has a lip liner and then it has the lipstick on the other side. These are two liners that I haven't used. Also this I haven't used. These are my two favorite uh, lip liners. These are NYX. Then I have my foundation in Soft Beige. Mario Badescu facial spray, the pink one. I have all of them, but this is the only one I had in the travel size. 
have my tart shape tape. Then I have my Tartlet in bloom palette. I think I jabbed into it already. Nope, I didn't. Thank God. Then I have my Take Me to Brazil palette. It still has a plastic on it. That's her. Then I have my simple uh, cleansing wipes to remove my makeup. So yeah, let's open up that the brush thing. Please excuse the um, bubbling clip. I went on a rant of how good that palette was. Um, yeah, let's so continue. this is the only thing that didn't fit in the bag, but this is also a thing I didn't pack. My aunt brought it for me because she was coming. This is what it looks like. It. This is one of the best palettes I've ever, 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 ever seen. So you have these eyeshadows here, then you have this set of highlighters, and then this is another set, basically in like little quads. It would be nice if she sold them individually. So if you had an option to buy the eyeshadows, but then also buy these um, separately. This this shade here is extremely extremely nice i don't know if you can see with the iphone camera but it has it's an iridescent color i personally like a lot of mauvey tones which is what you see here in this little area but then she also incorporated these peach neutrals which is nice as well i only use this side of um the palette for the highlighters i've never even touched these but it is nice because sometimes I do people's makeup. Look at all that highlight. Sometimes I do people's makeup and I like to incorporate these as eyeshadows. But yeah, this is the Carly Bible palette. It says Aspire. So all of these brushes fit in there. These are all of the brushes I use for my entire face. To start off, I have this cotton swab that I use. Because sometimes I can't find cotton swabs here in my house because I don't know where anything is. So I have this one. And I sometimes use this to smoke out the lower lash line or if I get some uh, mascara on my bottom lashes. My bottom, like, you know what I'm talking about, whatever. This is the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I should have gotten the waterproof one. I don't even know if the waterproof one exists. But that's that. This brush is from Marshalls. And it is the Precision Beauty Contour Brush. Eyeshadow brush, my bad. Sorry. But I like to use this. As you can see, it's green. I like to use it with the Take Me to Brazil palette because it's... Look, you can maneuver it to change the shape of it. And it is really nice to pack on product. So, yeah, I like it. You see it's pink and then it's green. Nice. This is the Sephora Multitasker Brush. It's the mini size. I have this Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow gel that I never use. So there she goes. This is the BH Cosmetics brush. It came in a 12 set thing. I think it was 12, but all of these brushes came together. As you can see, it's BH Cosmetics. Okay. But I use this one for blush. This is for overall powder. And then this is for my inner corner highlight thing this is the morphe m439 you already know where to get that mascara clinique oh lord i don't even know what this is called lash doubling mascara this is the mini then i have the m510 by morphe and the reason why i have a rubber band on it because when you wash it it turns like that so by using this you really get rid of that shape so it becomes like its regular size then i have this, this is in morphe m441 yes it is this is one of the brushes i bought here doesn't have a brand doesn't have anything the shape of it, so you can see it better. I'm just gonna put it here. 
Oh lord. It is very small. I think I'm gonna like this for the lower lash line or for cutting the crease or doing very detailed work because I it have, is I have this defining eyeshadow brush by e.l.f. It is supposed to be at an angle, but it's dirty. I use this to carve out my eyebrows or to apply some of this corrector under my eyes. Oh, I just put that there. She doesn't go there. Okay. Then I have this crease brush. I think I want to say this is by Mary Kay. I'm not so sure, but my friend gave it to me. Sorry, I don't know. This is the MAC 217 brush. This is another brush I bought here. I think it just says B604, but the label, the brand is already rubbed off. Then last in that brush bag is my Ebony Anastasia Brow Wiz. And that's it. Just a quick little note. These are the products that my aunt brought me that didn't, well, not that didn't fit, but the Carly Bible didn't fit. But the other products, I just thought I didn't need, but I was lying to myself. I was trying to be, you know what, whatever. Just these are the products that my aunt had to bring me. And then these products here are the ones that I bought here while in Mexico. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, yes.